Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the video memory management internal blue screen error message you're receiving on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And typically this error is associated with issues with your graphics drivers. So in today's tutorial, we're going to go over a couple of different troubleshooting methods on how to hopefully resolve that problem for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in device manager. Best result, you're going back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the display adapter section by double clicking on it. And then right click on the display adapter listed under here and select update driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers, and then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select a manufacturer-specific one, unless you only have a generic one to select from, and then select Next. And then once that's done, you may want to also go on to the manufacturer's website of your graphics card and see if there are any new drivers available for your specific graphics card. You can see that information on the driver page that we were just on. It'll tell you the information about what type of graphics card you have, and you can go on to NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel's website and download the latest driver updates directly from them. So that's one thing you can try. Your graphics card may also be damaged or failing, in which case it sounds like that's a hardware-related problem, so you may need to get it replaced. You can also run a system file checker scan here. So we open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, should say command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan out. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Once that is finished, close out of here and restart your computer.
And there you go, guys. Simple as that. And hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.